Media Wires with Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching today's video. We're going to show you the step by step process on how to replace your thermostat. Now, in the event that you want step by step guidance on how to test your thermostat to see if that part has actually failed, that video is scrolling above. Definitely check that out. Again, in this video, how to replace it. Let's get started. On the front of the dryer now, and we are going to remove this access panel. Come down below on the bottom of each side, you've got two little screws. Go ahead and remove the far right screw as well as far left screw. After removing both of those screws, go ahead and carefully shift this cover plate off and got access to a lot of parts. Next, in the event that you can gain access to the part that we are going to cover in this video, awesome. However, if you can't, what I wanna show you is how to remove this faceplate here. Open up the door, you have a couple Phillips screws along the radius of the inner portion of the door as well as here. Go ahead and remove those. Two more screws, one on the far lower left and one on the far lower right. Go ahead and remove those. With the top cover off, go ahead and remove the far left and far right screw. With those screws removed, on the inner portion you have little plastic tabs right in there. Just by shifting them outward, you can shift this portion out of that gap. I may need both hands. And YouTubers, trust me when I say this, you do need both hands working through. You've got an additional tab on the far left and far right as well as the internal grooves here you just carefully work them around and up and over the actual clips do your best not to break anything you're working with a lot of plastic carefully shift this up and try not to harm the wiring and next screw here and screw here go ahead and remove those with the faceplate removed you may be able to actually gain access to it by hand it is right up in here however this part right here, I'm going to remove it to show you a better view of it for your convenience. Just go around the actual radius and you will have several quarter inch screws. I think three or four to be exact. On the opposite side, I remove one screw and you've got a few screws here. Just be careful we did not actually remove that electrical connection point. Be nice to the wiring. After removing the screws, that electrical connection point down below, just be careful. And spend a little bit of time, clean all that up. We're actually going to gain access to the part. There it is. Let's go ahead and remove that quarter screw and those connection points and test it. While you're at it, clean out that area there and to gain access to that quarter screw, you may have to actually use a socket and ratchet. After removing that screw, it's pretty small. Don't lose it. Now we can gain access and position this thermostat in a way where we can remove these connection points and you'll notice the wiring the long wire actually goes to the connection lead closest to the hole let's go ahead and remove those new part in hand let's reverse the steps and secure the electrical leads here and secure it with that quarter screw new part is secured make sure the wiring is properly secured on the leads and that screw is secured down from here go ahead and re-secure this cover again you might want to clean that vacuum all this lint out entire cover portion is re-secured now it's time to resecure the faceplate. Everything's repositioned properly, and now it's time to plug the unit back in and do a test run. Power on, and you will start. From here, come down below. You've got your coils and your igniter down here. Again, ours is gas, so this will light up. As you can see right there, the igniter has lit, and the gas is flowing, and it is heating. Check that out. And right there, that is just a reflection off the actual panel. All the flame is inside that tube. That's it, as you can see, a pretty friendly DIY project. We are back up and running. Hopefully this helps, do us a favor. Below the video, you'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell, that would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate that. Thanks again for watching.